Hello everyone and welcome to episode 7 of this spin-off poetry series of the Discount Bookshop podcast. In this series, each episode we hear a poem from Caroline Hodgson Brown's book, Poems for a Discount Bookshop. This series is partly to entertain you listeners out there and partly to try and encourage you to buy Caroline's full published book, which is available now from all branches of the Discount Bookshop. Now, I've been getting emails from stores for a while now, really expressing their frustration with the lack of sales for the book. Uh, We're sick of the sight of them, frankly. So if you do find that these poems rock your socks, then head on over to your local branch to pick up a copy of her book for only £6. Okay, on with the art, and I think you'll find this one a breath of fresh air, as I'm about to attempt to perform one of Caroline's beat poems. Um, obviously in the book you won't get the music alongside so I've just made some I've just made some music so um, this is how I imagine it would sound but obviously if you just just as a disclaimer if you buy the book it will just be words on a page even though it's a beat poem okay wish me luck here is Caroline's seventh poem Poems for a Discount Bookshop by Caroline Hodgson Brown. Poem 7 Politeness Passes. Working in a shop till I go pop. Shop till they drop is what they all say. Working in a shop, not just gonna trot. I'll run around this shop like a dog chasing a frog. Why does everyone come in and mess up my palace? I clean all day, but it's never enough. That word search doesn't go there, can't you see? It's right underneath where it's meant to be. Why do you leave your empty cup there upon the shelf? Then why do you leave without saying goodbye yourself? Why do you walk in with such confidence then realise you're in the wrong place? Wrong shop, wrong attitude, wrong behaviour, wrong manners. What do I have to do to get a bit of decency around here? We'll have to start handing out politeness passes so that well-mannered customers can return. What? Politeness passes? I'll pass on the politeness, thanks. I hear them shout. Politeness passes me by, I'm afraid. They jest further. That's all I'll say, as I don't like to fuss. If I will if I have to, though, and I'm not in a rush. Every day I finish work, I think the same thing. Why do so many people leave without buying anything? Not a clue. Can't stop. I don't know how to stop the music. How do I stop the music? Don't know how to stop the music, but the poem has ended, just so you know. Well, gave it my best shot. Um, I thought that was better than the last one, last poem, uh, last time. But between you and me, I found that very hard work. Um, I had a hard time following the drum beat that um, that I made. Uh, I'm not really sure how I intended for myself to follow that. I just sort of made it. I didn't really have much time. Um, I'd like to hear a, a, a recording of uh, Caroline herself um, do, performing that beat poem because I'm not not sure that's what she intended not sure i did a very good job of that um i mean it's bad enough trying to follow along with caroline's poems at the best of times but add a tempo and a rhythm and i'm as lost as a needle as in as a lost in a as a needle as a what lost in a, lost in a needle haystack is that it lost in lost a, find, like finding a needle in a haystack that can't be it because I'm completely lost with this poem but you know the needle is in the haystack so it can't be that lost if you know where it is anyway anyway, what I'm saying is I didn't do a very good job with that beat poem but Caroline must take some responsibility I don't think she did a very good job with writing, making it clear how it should be performed You know, so we're both at fault there I think um, to just uh, you know, bear that in mind you know um, just have a gander at the sales figures for the book. Our figure last time was 25 copies sold, and our target for this time was 30. So let's see how we did. Uh, 29. Well, I did think that 30 would be a stretch, and 29 is still very good. Well, it's not. It's pretty awful, actually. But you know what I mean. <sighs> 
God, I'm going to have to make these videos forever if these sales figures don't pick up. I don't know what else I can do to try and bump the numbers without just buying a load of copies myself. I'm not going to do that. But I'll have a think about whether I can think of anything special we can do in the run-up to Christmas, maybe, to try and try and do some more of these videos, maybe. Not really sure. We'll see. Um, well, for now, I reckon let's make the target 32. 32 copies in total sold by next time. That's only three more copies, and surely we can do that. Um, the book is sold at all stores of the discount bookshop, so surely we can sell three in that time. Just three. Just three. Well, at the end of the day, there's only one way to find out, and that is to wait and see. Um, thank you so much for stopping by and listening to this episode. Please take the time to press like, subscribe for more content, and share with a friend if you enjoyed. I'll go and see if I can think of something special we can do with this series. There must be something. Um, but yeah. Alright, thanks a lot.